Are you experiencing that afternoon energy crash where you just can't even keep your eyes open between 2 and 4 p.m.? Well, stay tuned today. I'm going to tell you about six tips to avoid that afternoon energy slump. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer, and for the best advice in reclaiming your health and vitality, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to be notified every Thursday when I post new videos. So if you're experiencing that afternoon energy crash between 2 and 4 p.m., then by the end of this video, you'll have six tips to help you beat that crash. I'm a family medicine doctor, a functional medicine doctor, registered dietitian, and nutritionist. So I work with a lot of patients on reclaiming their energy and their vitality, working with nutrition and lifestyle changes. So we're going to talk about those that pertain to the, the um, energy crash in the afternoon, but we're also going to have some simple tweaks at the end, so stay tuned to the end. Let's start with tip number one, which involves nutrition. So during your lunch meal, just make sure you are balancing your macronutrients. What are macronutrients? They're your protein, fat, and carbs. So I had another video, which I will link up at the top, that talked about um, PFC eating, where you balance your protein, your fat, and your carbs. And I have a PDF down in the description that you could... Um, take a look at and that gives you specific ideas but basically you want to have something from each of those categories and you want to have them balanced you don't want simple carbs in excess so those would be pastas breads uh, crackers cookies rice um, those can be healthy foods but when they're kind of isolated or they are the majority of the plate then you're going to probably have an energy crash in the afternoon because you're not having you because that turns into sugar in your body so quickly so we need just a small amount of those and the higher fiber the better and then we need to have our proteins and fats with that and you know nutrients like um, B vitamins and vitamin C and A so in our fruits and vegetables um, to help balance out our blood sugar and energy levels so we do not have that crash. Tip number two would be schedule something in the afternoon that is active. So don't, if you have control over your schedule, some of us don't, but if you have control over your schedule, then in the afternoon, try to schedule maybe an active meeting where you could do like a walking meeting, or if you're, it's a phone meeting, you could be walking around while you're talking on the phone. Um, or if it's going out to see clients or just something where you're moving and you're active and that will help you to regain your energy in the afternoon. So you don't want to schedule things that are very intensive into being at your computer and just typing or that it, that um, require a lot of extreme focus. If you could uh, organize your day so that you would do those other things in the morning when you might have more energy or right before lunch when you might have more energy or maybe earlier in the afternoon or after your active um, meetings that you could schedule during your, your low energy times then you could have some of more of those uh, more intensely focused kind of times in your day. Tip number three would be exposure to daylight. So in the afternoon, particularly at the time period before you know you're going to have your crash if it's that predictable for you, go outside even if it's two minutes, five minutes, Go outside and walk around, connecting with nature, getting that sunshine. That will help you avoid that afternoon energy crash. And sitting by a window, if you don't have the ability to go outside, then just try sitting by a window and that daylight exposure can help boost that energy and you're not going to have that crash as easily. So tip number four, another nutrition focused tip, avoid the candy jar at your workplace. Or if you work from home, you're studying from home, avoid even keeping that in the house. I don't know why so many companies have candy for their employees. I know they think it's a good thing, but it's actually harmful to everybody's productivity and energy and overall health. So they also will sometimes stock donuts and bagels and those kind of things. So instead of reaching for that in the afternoon when you're tired, or instead of reaching for the coffee, which can do the same thing as sugar, give you that spike, then give you that crash. Go outside, grab some water, maybe grab a green tea if you want a hot beverage and uh, something nutritious. You could have some nuts, you could have some seeds. Um, in my PFC eating guide, there's lots of snacks and everything that you could then um, take with you. But avoid that quick sugar because that will end up, you'll end up feeling worse after that. It will work in the beginning and then you will crash. Number five, incorporate 
activities into your afternoon that will boost your energy. So that could be deep breathing. Sounds crazy because you would think deep breathing would kind of make you tired, but it actually restores your energy. So try, we've talked about a lot on this channel, four, seven, eight breathing, where you breathe into your belly for four, you hold for seven, and you exhale for eight. Or you could do a two to five minute walking meditation. I love, there's a lot of meditation apps. I will flash them here. And they have walking meditations. You could put that on your headphones, go outside, get that sunshine and walk. Um, another thing you could do is you could, if you, if you just didn't have that much time, you couldn't go out and walk and you can't, you just don't like doing the deep breathing and the meditation, which are the best things to do at that afternoon crash time that you have. Go into the bathroom, splash your face with water, cold water six times. That should help as well. So some of those techniques are very energizing and they will be a much better choice than hitting the candy jar or the quick carbs or the coffee. Number six, be sure you're getting the nutrients you need in your diet. So we can go back to number one and make sure our macronutrients, PFC, protein, fat, and carbs are balanced, but also our micronutrients, our vitamins, our antioxidants. Those are very good for the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of our cells. So this is a whole you know, video into and of itself, but some of those nutrients that can help support the mitochondria are the B-complex vitamins, um, the different B vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin A, and acetylcysteine is an antioxidant that can really help and CoQ10. A lot of people take that for heart health, but that is very important for the mitochondria. So if you have questions on those, I'm actually going to have a link um, at the end of this, uh, in the description of this video on a PDF that you can download that gives you uh, all kinds of ways you can eat to support your mitochondria and the nutrients that you would need potentially to support your mitochondria. So you can learn more there. But supporting your mitochondria will help you overall with your energy and vitality and definitely help you avoid that afternoon crash. So now for the bonus tips at the end. Quick little things, like if I'm stuck at a desk and I know that I'm gonna be in a really intense kind of um, session for studying for boards or doing cases or just not being able to get up or control my environment that much as far as activity, I like to keep essential oils next to my desk or wherever I might be working. So one I really like is um, peppermint. So you can just take a couple of quick sniffs there and you can also diffuse it in the air if you're not, you know, having to worry about bothering other people. But the quickest way to do it is just take a couple sniff, sniffs. Um, I also like citrus bliss uh, or any kind of citrus. And this, these are just doTERRA. That's the kind that I get. But it's um, very stimulating, the citrus scent. So you can sniff those or diffuse them. Uh, one other simple thing is gum. You could chew gum. So there are a lot of unhealthy gums. I don't like the ones that have like blue colors or sugar or whatever. Um, NutraSweet. Uh, I don't think they usually use NutraSweet, but I don't like the fake sweeteners. But there's like Epic gum and some other gums that are natural, no fake colors. And they're peppermint um, flavored usually. And that can be very stimulating. So they've done studies that chewing gum really helps with um, activating the brain. Now that you have these six tips, I would love for you to comment down below if you've tried any of these or you have any tips that you could give the rest of us for helping your energy and your crashes in the afternoon or if you're excited to try any of these. I'd also love for you to check out the PDF in the description down below so you can learn how to support your mitochondrial health. And then check out next week's video, which will be on stress busting for grownups. So if you like this video, give it a, give it a thumbs up, please. Um, subscribe to the channel um, and hit the bell notification to be notified every Thursday when I post new videos. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.